name is Peter Jamper and this is Super Select for AutoCAD. If it's loaded, it's available at the command line by SSF and it allows you to create selection set filters and, and create a new one. You can copy it, you can edit it, you can delete it, you can also import from other drawings. Uh, in this particular case, we'll look at editing. You can see I have five uh, different uh, settings. One is the first one's command line is to make it available at the command line. Two is the description. Three is the filter name, whether or not I want to invert the selection, and then also the different uh, selection set method. In this particular case, select all. In this particular filter, I've selected a circle, and you can see all of the properties, the object properties of the circle. If I say OK, it, and click here and say OK, it will select all the circles on the drawings. Now, in this particular program, there's other options. Uh, in the case of a area, I can have all of these, uh, or a number, I can have uh, all these different tests. If I have a string, like the circle, I can have these values, these options, and in the case of a list, I can have all of these options and car, catter, and catter have to do with the three different uh, uh, values inside the, the list. In this particular case, I've got a, a diameter greater than 140 and it's a circle, so it should give me all the big circles. Okay, now to create a new selection set filter, I can come down and click on new and select something on the drawing. Let's just call, pick the, one of these cones and let's call it cone heads. And now, if I say OK, it'll select all of the cones, uh, which are a type of solid. Now, it can select long lines, but one of the things that makes it more powerful than the filter command and as such is, is the ability to create new selection sets and filters, including attribute values, dynamic block properties, extended data, and this particular program can also do logic. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to create this one here, and now it's selected all of those uh, symbols that I have for DAC. One demonstration of a new uh, selection method would be to select a one of these blocks that has A, B, or C in it, come in and change the like value to A and B, and we'll call this one A and B. A and B, and it selects all but the C. I wanted to create a new selection set filter that allowed uh, me to demonstrate the logic. And this one, I'm just going to call it Fred and Greg. And I'm going to drop down here and look at the text string. And I'll say like value, star Greg. And then I'm going to click on that and duplicate it. And then I'm going to change the second one to be Fred, and then I'm going to select the two and add logic to it, and you can see that there's different logic options, XOR would be only one is true, and then I can also move up, move down, duplicate, remove, and do logic in this, and so right now, if I say Fred and Greg, it selects all the text with Fred and Greg in it. Now I can also type at the command line. Fred and Greg, and it will select them. I can also do it inside of a command with a hyphen. Five minutes is a very short period of time to show all the different features of this program, but thanks for watching.